This is a lesson on how to put a vignette on one of your photographs. The first thing you're going to do is uh, duplicate the background layer. Control or right click on the background layer, choose duplicate layer, click OK. There are many ways to add a vignette or a sort of fuzzy frame around your picture. Uh, this is just one way. So. Under the rectangular marquee tool, we are going to choose elliptical marquee tool so we can make a nice rounded vignette on our picture. So click that. And then we are going to start to make our selection in the photograph. Click and drag to make a nice uh, oval shape. Now you may not change the size of this afterwards, but you can drag it around. So I'm going to just drag it a little bit uh, to make it centered. There we go. Now you'll notice that the ziggy lines are creating a circle. So what you've done is you've selected the inside. We want to select the edges this time and fill it with a sort of a fuzzy color. So we have to go to select and select inverse, which means the opposite. Now you'll notice the ziggy lines are around the edge of the picture and the inside. So you've actually selected the outer edge. We're going to fill this now with a different color. Before we fill with color, we are going to make sure that, the, that this edge is a nice soft fuzzy edge. You can either go up to the top layer where it says feather and click a high number. 200 is quite a, a, a large soft, softened edge. Um, you can also um, control click inside or with the selection tool on and go to feather and you will get this menu. Um, so play around. Um, 50, 100, 200 and see what kind of results you get. I'm going to click OK because I like 200. Now you go to layer, down to new fill layer. We're going to fill that selection with a solid color. Choose solid color. Just click OK. Don't worry about that box. It will give you a color picker. Now you can see it's um, defaulted to adding a black and you can click around here and change the color. Um, it doesn't really matter what selection you do at first. The other very helpful thing is if you drag your mouse into the picture, you'll get the eyedropper and you can select one of the colors that's actually in your image. And this is often a good way to get a nice subtle um, uh, vignette. So I'm going to click OK. And you'll see what you've done is you've added this fill layer and it shows you that um, the color you've chosen is on the outer sides and does not include the center. At any time, you can double click on this color box and be able to either choose with your eyedropper, a different color, or uh, pick from the wheel. Click OK. Now there's another thing that you can also do with the fill layer. While you're clicked on the fill layer is you can change the opacity. So you can click there and slide the bar down and you'll see what happens. You can see through that layer. It gets lighter and lighter till it's almost not there at all. Okay, let's turn that uh, vignette off by clicking the eyeball and let's make a another selection. I'm just going to do um, uh, reselect. I'm going to get my selection back so it's here and I'm going to change the feather this time. So I'm going to control click in the middle or just use the feathering bar and we're going to make this feathering go down to 10. Return. Layer. New fill layer. Solid color. Click OK. You can see this has got a very hard edge and you can again choose to pick whichever color you prefer. Click OK. Now if we compare the vignette with a 10 feather, see it's quite a so solid line. Now if we look at the first edge with a feather of uh, 200, you can see how fuzzy this line is compared with the selection that has a feather of only 10. Um, if you choose this small of a feather, um, this is where the opacity, turning the opacity down would actually come in helpful because you can sort of see through the color layer a little bit better. Uh, play around with those, pick the one you like and uh, of course save it. as vignette. Make sure it's in your Photoshop folder and you're done.